There are stars in the southern sky Southward as you go There is moonlight and moss in the tree down the seven bridges road. In the last video, I was talking a little bit about the, the corrupt medical system in Canada. It got me kind of thinking, how did it get that way? Who let it get that way? I started to think it was a progression through the years. Slow changes made to the system. You know what? Our election is coming up. I'm not a believer in elections. I don't think our votes count. Each leader for the past three decades has been hand chosen by organizations like the WEF. <clears throat> How to get there? Slow subversion of our medical system through the years, through political parties stripping away bit by bit that system and its effectiveness. I see people arguing back and forth during this time leading up to the elections, you know. The media is pumping out the hate for Justin Trudeau, which is, you know, understandable. People fail to look back two decades, three decades. Look back at John Crenche, look back at, at Trudeau's father, look back at Stephen Harper. You look at all those leaders, start to realize that all of them were a cog in the wheel to destroy our the fabric of our nation. And you see patterns. Prime example is Stephen Harper. Everybody loved him. First term, everybody loved him. Second term, you could see the media drummed up hate against him. Same bullshit they're pulling up with fucking Trudeau. And with that, the media sure likes to start a fire. Put that fire out onto the media, it spreads. It spreads like a wildfire. Those lies within that and manipulations, they really go far and wide. And they manipulate people to believing specific things like scandals that were pre-existing way before that election. Everybody should have known these scandals and done something about it. We remained ignorant. We let it happen because we were just too comfortable. It didn't affect us right then and there. And now it's biting us in the ass. I look at the Pierre Paulier and I see everybody promoting him and lifting him up as Canada's fucking savior. And that really pisses me off as I see a lot of the same patterns happening with Trudeau as I seen with the fall of Harper and the election of Trudeau. All these false promises that people attach to and then promote him like he can't do no wrong. The prime example is Pierre coming out denying that he doesn't take part in the World Economic Forum. He's never supported it or gone to their events. Videos of him being at Davos were online a couple years ago. I've seen them, should have downloaded them and saved them, but he was there. And some of his speeches seem to align with the globalists. Okay, let's put that aside. Let's call that a conspiracy theory. The uh, information doesn't exist. Well, you know what? His wife worked for Switch Health back in 2019 to 2020. Switch Health, take a look at that organization. Take a look who was operating as the acting CEO of the time. She was receiving fucking kickbacks from World Economic Forum and the World Health Organization to push these damn pokes and to push these damn restrictions on the rest of Canadians while receiving millions of dollars in kickbacks from these subverting organizations. So he lied to Canadians, knowingly lied to Canadians. Is that what Canada wants? Is that the road we want to go down? This isn't just liberal, conservative, NDP, Green Party, PPC. This whole system is corrupt. They got every party. It's a pay-to-play system. They got us by the balls, Canada, and there's nothing you can do about it. I watched a video of, of the House of Commons. An MP brought up a very good point to the Governor General. He was sitting there on his throne. Concerned citizens, they're, they're concerned about Klaus Schwab and his little cronies. They're concerned that our government has been infiltrated. So that question was brought up in the House of Commons. You know what happened? You could hear the question, clear as day. The Governor General said he couldn't, he cut out the question, denied an answer, and carried on with the questions. That spoke to me loud and clear that our entire house has fallen from top to bottom. These are some dangerous times for Canada.
people really need to start recognizing the true enemy. It's not blacks against whites, natives against whites, whites against Asians. It's none of that. I love all Canadians as long as we all stand together. If you're not with us, I'm sorry. You're going to have a good fight against you. Same as you, Klaus Schwab. Same as the rest of you out there that support tyranny. Just wait. Just wait, it's coming. You're pissing off a lot of people. A lot of good, good people. Been sitting by and waiting for the rest of Canadians to wake up. But there comes a point in time when we draw a line in the sand and that's coming pretty damn close for a lot of us Canadians.